Come on, Roman, come on! Now a couple of weeks uh, before the Tour de France, the guys are currently at altitude camp and uh, I'm really looking forward to the start, I'm excited as a kid. Uh, at the altitude camp they are already really happy with it and uh, yeah, now it's starting to get a little bit nervous towards the Tour. Uh, we're going to hunt some stages there, the Foil RC is our tool there, uh, also with the Tour de France de Femme it's, uh, it, it, it can be uh, a real game changer there. And, uh, really excited. It's an important uh, bike for as well as Scott has for us. Uh, it's an important moment, it's a big race. Uh, the bike will set a new standard for, uh, for sprint bikes, for aerodynamics. We have been involved in development of the bike in an early stage already. Um, at the start we had meetings, that's where we uh, as a team set the benchmarks for the, for the bike. In terms of aerodynamics, weight, versatility, comfort, uh, all those things uh, we could put in and we also could make, give it a number uh, which made it for them uh, really uh, visible where they needed to go, it gave them good directions, we, 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 uh, we found out and in the end they, uh, they reached all the benchmarks and then they, they, they went beyond on some parts. So, uh, the secret of the engineering is that uh, it really translates the power of the rider going into the bike through the wheels on the road. Uh, this is really important not uh, to lose any power but also makes the bike suitable for every kind of surface that you ride on. So it's more suitable for, uh, for sprints but also uh, can be used in classic. The bike has been worked on for over two years and it's not only the aerodynamic gain of over 20% that, uh, that we have, the comfort uh, we measured on 10% improvement even also. The Tour de France is important for both Scott and us and the Foil RC ensures that we stay ahead of competition in terms of equipment. So another couple of weeks on the Foil RC at altitude camp and the guys will be ready to race it in Copenhagen. Look fast. So fast. So fast, yeah. eh? La forme. La souplesse. <laughs> uh, I'm excited. Uh, also a bit nervous. It's, uh, yeah, I don't really know uh, what to expect, but uh, I think it's going to be uh, hectic, but also. Uh, Really cool. I, I knew already in January that it was a chance to do the tour, uh, and uh, so as long as the season went good and as we were hoping, I also knew that the tour was uh, probably gonna gonna happen. My first memory from the Tour de France was in 2011. Um, I didn't really follow cycling, but we were in France with some uh, also family who were really into cycling and. Uh, uh, yeah, by coincidence, we also were in the same area as uh, the Tour de France, so we decided to go and watch one of the stages, and it was also uh, a team time trial. Um, we went there, and also that day, Tour Husov got the yellow jersey, and um, it was. Uh, um, I think we were more or less like the only Norwegians on that stage, and uh, we were uh, staying there. Uh, after the podium and uh, shouting for a uh, tour to come and uh, after a long time he, he came and gave us some autographs and uh, also the Norwegian uh, TV2, TV2 they uh, filmed, filmed this thing and every year since then they've been showing this footage over and over again like every year it's a throwback to when uh, Husov got, uh, got the yellow jersey and um, I think maybe two years ago someone recognized it, it was me the one stage I look most forward to is the last one, because then, uh, then you know that uh, <laughs> you're done, and then you know how, how everything went, and uh, then it's all the time to relax a bit. So uh, yeah, it's maybe uh, 
strange, but uh, that's the one I look most forward to. Just start off with um, kind of a welcome meeting. Um, obviously, the last couple of days are always super busy, so not really uh, so much time to fit it in. When we talk about race goals, kind of we talk about kind of that day by day approach. We go for we're going for stage results. We already have in the first five days some really nice stages where we can get stage results. We don't need to change our focus because. When you look at the first six days, you've either got a sprint or a cobbled section or a little uphill kicker where we have to ride in the front. Then we have Planche de Belle Fields. To be honest, when you want to get a result from there, that's going to come from the peloton. So that's your day result. It probably won't go to a breakaway there. Then already you start a trend. So we have one week of racing where we don't need to think about GC. We think about riding as a team, riding in the front and riding together. I think everyone's in really good shape. And to be honest, you should be excited about the next three weeks and what we can achieve here. I think we're, we're in that real good position where we can achieve something really nice in the next three weeks. Who's just preparing himself atop the ramp now? A native of the, lo the location of Lyud in the region of Auvergne, uh, coming, getting ready now for his ninth participation on the roads of the Tour de France. Two podiums previously. Ten seconds to go before we welcome uh, this San Diego winner of the Tour of Alps of this season, a former king of the mountains on the road of the Tour de France. Please welcome Romain Bacquet. It was actually really nice <laughs> to be honest, but uh, I just didn't go fast enough. In the corners I'm braking so much, I was really scared of crashing. Yeah. I did actually feel really good. Yeah? When and I was pushing I could felt like I could push forever. And the crowds? It's hard to keep the focus. Yeah. It's uh, so many people and Norwegian flags and people saying my name. It's like. Sometimes I catch myself only looking into the crowd. Is, is there someone I know? Is this... <laughs> oh, nice. Ah. Good job. Um, talk about the plan then for today. I think the first road stage at the tour, everyone's going to be nervous. Um, our, key, our key goals today are that we, we are together through the day. That is the most important thing on a day like today, that we're sitting together. It's, there will be moments in the race where you can uh, relax a little bit, talk to your mates, ride along next to them. Today is not one of those days. Today is a day where you switched on from kilometer one, you're, or kilometer zero, you are together, and you're sitting in a forward position in the peloton. Roman, anything from you? No, I think uh, we just have to sit together. No traits. For me, it's really straight. Uh, in the neutral. Yeah. Find our spot in the front and we uh, the more we'll be together the easier it will be for the day. But it also means that let's be on the line in good time then. Let's not just roll down with two minutes to go or relax. You have to be there a little bit earlier for that. Yeah. Okay. Good point. Exactly. That's the key. Stay together. What a day. Yeah. There's enough chaos again. I hope 
well, Beto is fine. Yeah, I think so. It happened on the left side of me. Like, they crashed on the side and they crashed actually just into our Beto. So he was... Uh, he had no chance. Also, thanks to you, man. Super strong. Good job, man. How was it in the end? Nah. I was together with John, but we were just a couple of times stuck behind other leaders, man. Yeah. You guys are okay? Yeah. They're all yeah. riding in here. They're all riding in Yeah, I bet it was okay. Yeah. But he just lost a lot. Of yeah. We did like a pin pushing check on him, though. So he lost like quite a lot of time because the doctor was really checking on him. I ah, really? That's why I said continue. Um, like directly because I knew that it could be a while. So, uh, yeah. 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 Today there was so much happening. Yeah. Like left, right, the front, wind is the worst. behind. Yeah. yeah, stage two of the Tour de France. Uh, really hectic day, to be honest. We knew it would be small roads all day. Uh, a lot of fight for position. And then when we came into the final, Tussfeld crashed and then uh, kind of started the ball rolling. We knew there'd be a big fight towards the uh, big bridge. Kevin crashed just before it and then Alberto crashed on the bridge. So. We went defensive mode then to protect uh, the guys as we came towards 3k to go, which was a good job, especially as there was such a big crash in the final. And then, yeah, we looked at Niels for the sprint, but yeah, just didn't quite have the legs uh, today and kind of just rolled in in the end. And we uh, we regroup and we looked for Alberto for tomorrow. For the race day then, I think kind of, like we said, after that feed zone, we need to be uh, really in position altogether. Um, and already prepared there just to hold ourselves in in that spot um, in the peloton in a good way. I still think all through the stage though we sh should still have attention on each other, we should still be close together. There's still big crowds on the side of the road. Everyone's kind of one day in now, maybe relaxing a little bit. That's also how touch and wheels can happen and um, people become more relaxed with it. So we need to be super sharp all day. And the goal stays the same. It, like John said before, it's about dropping Alberto off on, on a good sprint wheel at kind of 500 metres to go there. So you'll have to surf a little bit in the last 3K, but as long as you three come into that final 3K together, you can surf a bit there. You stay with those guys until the drop off. Don't want you going your own way at 2Ks to go. You stay with these guys until the drop off. Allow them to bring you into that position using at least energy as possible. Then you come into the final fresh onto the wheel of um, one, of the, one of the sprint guys and then again the goal is the same, to do your sprint. Need to Sagan, Sagan moves, Ewan is looking, he can't get through, Guau Van Aert! Shit, I couldn't really sprint. Follow Philips and instead of Jakobsen, then get out of the shit. Yeah. Maybe if, if you follow Philipson and then he gets in the shit, and then I have, yeah, to, yeah. Like, I have to follow Jakobsen. Well, that's the thing, he's just sort of gamble a little bit. Yeah. Sometimes it pays off, and sometimes not. But yeah, it feels good because like, in the last day you're still yeah. sharp, then I feel like I can go yeah. legs. Hey, yeah, I think we rode really well as a bubble. And, yeah. uh, yeah, now we're done with uh, three quite nice days here in Denmark. Uh, a lot of crowds. Uh, also, uh, yeah, just super special to uh, to do the Tour de France, and also with the, with these crowds, it's uh, really nice. And I think uh, as a team, we have uh, come through these days in a good way. Nice pitch. Yeah. What did you call? Uh, the studio king of Norway. <laughs> yeah, I think kind of we've had a, a good start uh, to the tour. We've um, finished there. We were top ten this afternoon, which is a really nice uh, way to get the sprint train rolling. And I think we've been organised. We've been together. We've been uh, riding in a really good way. So we come to the French part now. I mean, had a 
top 10 and kind of riding really well as a team and we can build on that in the coming stages and uh, I'm sure we'll keep pushing for those uh, day results. Okay, we uh, can talk a little bit about the plan then for today. As we've already pointed out, that first, first off, it's a short stage. More and more these days when it's a short stage, it's turned into full gas day. So I think we have to be a little bit prepared for a pretty hard day. But we also have two super hard days coming tomorrow and the day after. So I think also there will be a little bit of people holding back ready for them. But at the moment, the way the tour's going, every day is uh, pretty full gas. I think we, we keep almost the same plan as we had the day before the rest day. So Andreas and Martin, if there's an option to go in the breakaway, we take it especially on a finish like this, especially where we can go for the victory. But like we said yesterday in the meeting, our plan now, you also have to just be, uh, you're in there for two reasons. One, when you can take the stage win, great. Or maybe we have to get, we get you to wait on the last climb for whatever reason. Everyone should be comfortable with that. Let's have a good start to the second week then, eh? Okay hey boys, 2k, 2k to the real start. So let's get ready, boys that are fighting for the breakaway. Let's be ready. Now you go play. Come on Andreas, come on, it's really good, really good. Today, um, me and Martin were supposed to try to get in the breakaway and uh, it was a really hard fight for, for it. Uh, in the end, I managed to be in the right, uh, right move, which was uh, nice. Uh, from there on, it was just about saving as much energy as possible because we quite quickly realized that this, this uh, breakaway is also going to fight for the win of the stage. So. Uh, yeah, I uh, tried to stay as much in the wheels as possible and came into the last climb in the, in the right group and then uh, it was just about the legs in the, in the climb and uh, yeah, I think I did my did my best. Didn't uh, try to be as uh, calm as possible but still not uh, miss any uh, important moves. So uh, yeah, it was uh, hard but uh, in the end also a nice day. Obviously we have 40 kilometers flat road before. I think on there we have to be really sharp that big groups are not going away with lots of teams represented. I think everyone needs to be in the front there just to keep a, an eye on what's going on. Um, then Andreas, Martin, you guys on the, I think you three can look on the flat just to make sure we don't need to be in the break. Okay, so the goal is not to be in the break. It's to make sure that we're not in a situation where we're flicked and we have to ride. But today is all about full support for Roman, bringing him into the final as fresh as possible for that final climb. Chris, Andreas, Martin, you guys, you stay as long as possible, okay? So even when you're patrolling the break, it's, you, you've got to save the energy. We need you there as long as possible today in the, in the peloton and around Roman. <laughs> I just said, I was just saying to you, wasn't it? <laughs> it's like I'm literally saying, I think she's a fan. <laughs> okay, you're 50 seconds behind Vinegard, mate. Come on. Just keep fighting, you just keep fighting, 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 come on! No, the retard of Gary Thomas, one minute, You're 20 seconds in front of Thomas, 20 seconds in front of Garen. Come on, Norman, come on! We have to go all into the line, all into the line. Come on, Roman, don't give up now, all the way to the line, all the way, come on, come on, come on, come on! Wow, I that was hard. That was a Fight now, for the way. When they went full on telegraph, I said, 
the first uh, proper mountain stage so it's always uh, yeah, tricky to make some plans because you never know how the body will react and, uh, and yeah you know we have a big day coming tomorrow but uh, some guys are still uh, hungry to go all out today so yeah from halfway to the race to 34 guys and then uh, I will try to also be, be sharp on who came on the attack and who guys I can follow and uh, but in the end I had pretty good legs. The guys were there as long as they can with me so it was super good and then uh, it was all about the legs from 50k to go. Yeah yesterday was a really good stage for us. Um, it's the first real mountain test yesterday and there's a big fight for the breakaway. Um, group went clear eventually and we looked after Roman. Um, brought him into a good position and then really with a long way still to go in the stage 70k the, the four guys went clear and they were really kind of attacking each other really fighting to, uh, to to drop each other and Roman was just behind in the peloton which was being paced by Chris and kind of that saved his legs a little bit so that when uh, we went further on to the Galibier then um, Roman was able to be really in the front there and did a super ride and then on the final climb on the Col de Grand On um, he did a, a really good job, kept fighting all the way to the finish, third on the stage and moved up to, to second overall. So a really nice day actually for the team and um, yeah, we're in a, a good position. Today, Bastille Day, um, a really important day uh, for French cycling, French fans, they uh, really enjoy the day. It finishes top of Alpe d'Huez, uh, iconic climb. Um, it's going to be another big GC battle. If that stage victory is possible on the final climb, then for sure we go for it. But we'd like to uh, try and come through the day still in a, a solid GC spot. Part two. Today we'll know. Today we'll know. Today the Tour de France starts. Yeah. They're looking at each other in the front. They're looking at each other a bit in the front yeah, there. The yeah. yeah. So Thomas has just got back to them. You're not that far behind at all. Come on. Really good, mate. Really good. Come on, Roman. Mass is now dropping. Mass is now dropping. Come on, Roman. Yates is cracking. Yates is cracking. This is awesome. Come on. Four minutes to gap over Adam Yates now. All in, mate. All in. Come on. Push, 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 push. Really good effort, mate. Really good effort. Yeah. <laughs> We like to do up the ways, you know, in the tour and stuff like that, and it was just nuts. You know, like, the people were crazy. It was, yeah, it was pretty cool. I was really, uh, especially because I, I did my job and I had all the time uh, to come in, I could really uh, enjoy it more. And uh, I was really looking forward to going into the sport, and I also made sure to be alone there. And uh, yeah, then they all recognize you as Dutch, then they all go crazy, so it was really special. So, uh, stage 16, Tour de France, here in uh, Carcassonne. We have uh, another day where we head back to the mountains. This is the first of three really hard mountain days. I think kind of, for me, th these next three days will shape the GC and will shape the race. So we have to be really sharp. We have to be really on our game now in the coming three days. Uh, plan for today, we look for, to bring Andreas in the break in a support role for later in the race. And uh, on the final climb, it's super steep and we have to just kind of follow and look to take our opportunities when they present themselves. So um, yeah, we're in for another intense day in uh, quite high heat, but we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see where we shape up. Well, 
Andrea, stop, stop. Oh, yeah, stop, stop. Andrea, stop, stop. stop. Yeah. I don't know, but Roman sounded pretty stressed and telling Andreas to stop, which means Maybe Andreas is you. dropping him. Okay, guys, stay nice and calm. So we have Pogachar, Vingegaard off the front. We're gonna go over here, and then you got 1k steep downhill, 1k flat, and then the downhill continues. Water. Give me one more. And ice. Alright, ice coming, ice. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good job, mate. Good job. More ice or this? Just that. Just that. Just that. Go, go, go. Okay, Niels. 5k to the climb. Come on, mate. Let's get them back in the race now. Let's get them back in the race. Really good, mate. Really good. Come on, boys. We keep going. 7k's to go. Come on, boys. Come on. It's really good, boys. No regrets at all. Come on. This is really good. continue to fight. We, we said at the start we come for stage stage results. We always take it day by day and that's uh, that's for sure what we'll do. We'll continue to do that and we don't need to uh, need to worry about that. If we come to a situation where we miss it, we just ride, we look to bridge on the climb and then uh, yeah we go all in with no regrets and I think you will uh, you can do a good job. And now we're in a situation in the race where the GC teams are weakened. UAE lost somebody else today. Jumbo also a little bit weakened. Ineos will be protecting their podium, but I think kind of we can uh, we can take advantage of that, and they'll let, they will let you go in the break eventually when it's the the right combination. So and especially when we also have Andreas and Chris jumping, it also then becomes really difficult to uh, control. So yeah, I think we bounce back. We have a good day, and uh, yeah, we uh, we continue with what we said we came for. So we uh, we talk a little bit about the plan for today then. The goal today is we get Roman, Andreas and Chris, two of them in the breakaway. For us, the goal is that the break goes on the climb. I also think that's really possible. Like there'll be a big fight for it. So Long way, yeah. Yeah, about 50K is nothing. It's one hour, isn't it? it? Took an hour the other day. Yeah. I think it'll go on the climb. Yeah. Okay. Right then, yeah. get ready. That's only splitting. Roman is second wheel. Oh yeah, nice, we got all three there. Yeah. Really good. Roman, Andreas, Chris, really good, really good. In that split. So we've got Chris there, Roman and Andreas here. Yeah. We did not increase the speed yet. Roman is a little break. Okay, we don't increase the pace, we don't increase the pace. Let Roman recover. It's good. It's really good. Come on, lad. Come on. Come on, Roman, come on! Come on, mate. Yeah, I think a really good day today. Um, we wanted to bounce back after yesterday and uh, really get stuck in, in the race. Um, we got Chris and Andreas in the breakaway and then Roman Bridge with the help of Martin on the climb. I think the sprint guys also did a really good job to keep the race together to the first climb of the day. Um, and that's where we knew we could make the difference. So 50 kilometers, we just patrolled it and made sure it stayed together. And then on the climb, the race really developed. Roman jumped across at the top and then we had three guys in the front, which is a perfect scenario for us. Um, I think we raced really aggressive in the front and we can be proud of our performance today. Um, Andreas went solo from the breakaway and the moment he got caught by the uh, yellow jersey group, I asked him to wait for Roman then and he paced him. 
uh, as best as possible down to the valley and we came into the bottom of the last climb in a really good situation and then it was all about legs and a, a time trial to the finish um, I think yeah a really solid day for the team um, yeah so we go on to plan for today I think it's I think it's a really good shout that we uh, we do do rollers like Phil said especially after such a hard day yesterday we'll just kind of get that body moving again and uh, it'll stop that real shit feeling in the first 25 minutes that I think a few of you have experienced over the last week plan for today we we look for the breakaway um, with Andreas is the is the key guy that we want in there when it's going to race for the stage he's in super shape um, can do a really good job there. So kind of we've got sprint crosswind sprint day tomorrow, TT, and then a sprint day Sunday. So the sprinters have a chance tomorrow and then. Saturday is limited options. So for a lot of guys and a lot of teams in this peloton, this is the last chance today to that hopefully the break stays away and there's an opportunity. So you have to mentally prepare that we will fight until the first climb for this. And then Chris, Ramon, kind of you guys also know what to do. You uh, sitting there, I had a good chat with, with Roman. He will also coach you, Chris, through in terms of where we're gonna push and where we're gonna sit. Um, but it, it's, this is a day where, again, the race can flip on its head. Like, it's, this is not an easy day. Everyone's been under pressure for three weeks. So we can also go into this with, uh, we have no pressure on us. We're not in the top five, but by the end of the day, you can easily end up in the top five. So we also, we approach it in the right way. We look after Roman. We make sure he has everything he needs going into into the final. Let's get stuck in. Last big mountain day. Let's have it. Uh oh. Oh, Come on, Roman. Come on. Just keep the focus, mate. Keep the focus. Come on. So Roman is uh, struggling slightly in the yellow jersey group. So Hamo, wait for Roman. Wait for Roman. Hamo, Hamo. Andreas, continue. Okay, Pogacar attacks now, so it's going to explode there. It will explode there. Just stay in our rhythm. Stay in our rhythm. Hamo, there's a knees out. Yeah. Give me another ice. Who are those two there? That's, That's Quintana. Quintana. It's really good, Roman. Really good, mate. Come on. And there's Gordy and Yates. That's Yates, Gordu, Quintana, you can see there that you're looking at. Come on, mate, just keep going. You've done a super last climb. There's something to be proud of this last climb, Roman. Really good. Yeah, we finished our last mountain stage today. Um, I think another solid day for the team. Uh, we had Andreas in the breakaway. He, went, he was in the first group of six guys, which looked really promising um, until it was ridden down. And then it was kind of a big fight for the breakaway. 25 guys in the end went away, including Andreas. So it was a good situation for us. And Ramon felt really good on the first climb. So we sent Chris up the road um, as a bridging post for, for Ramon. Unfortunately, then on the second climb, Ramon started to struggle a little bit and, uh, and lost time. We quickly got Chris back with him. Um, we put ourselves in a situation where we could look after each other as a team by doing that. And then Chris paced uh, Ramon as long as possible into the bottom of the final climb. And Ramon came around a little bit on the final climb and limited the losses, uh, finishing eighth in the GC by the end of the day. Um, so I think overall we did, a, we did a really good Pyrenees. We raced tactically really well. We didn't come away with a result that we were looking for. But I think how we raced the team and kind of the thought that we put into it was uh, was really good and um, yeah it was a, it was a nice block. So goal today for us is we do want to sprint. Um, in the start, let's be uh, super sharp. Um, anything, any breakaway that's more than kind of six, seven guys, we should have somebody in there, and that can be uh, we can all we can all look for that. Martin, Andreas, Chris. Obviously, it's going to be a nervous and tentative day with the crosswinds, where everyone's going to be a little bit stressed. GC teams in the top five will be shitting themselves in case it does split. Um, everyone else, 
60 guys, 70 guys will have no goal today just to go to Paris. So they will uh, be sitting up as soon as it's going hard under the pedal. When we're coming into the final, we can, like Roman said before really clearly, let's use our strength. So Andreas, you can ride in the wind then in that kind of 10 k's to go. Let's get our bubble, get our side. We push on, we keep it, we keep the guys tight. Martin, I think kind of you look after the positioning at the back, keeping the door closed, but then also coming forward when Andreas is done to give that turn. Roman, inside the three k's to go, you just go as long as possible, okay? Don't need to worry if you lose one or two seconds here, you've got enough time, you can just go as long as possible there to bring the guys into the finish. And then John, Niels, Alberto, the goal there is to bring you guys into that last two k as fresh as possible. We can surf a little bit, and then we come into that final, into that final left hander really in the first 10 there. We have to hold a little bit, Alberto, you have to hold a little bit, be patient, okay? Don't, you, but you still, the goal stays the same. So around 250, 200 to go, you can open up the tats. Even though it's slightly uphill, your kick, you are faster than any of them, okay? You've got to get that clear run to the finish line though. That's the goal. Don't wait, don't hesitate, just sprint. You'll get a good result then, for sure. When you hesitate and you, allow them to come back and block, then you've lost it, okay? So you just see the opening, we just go for it. Let's just make sure if it splits in the wind, we're there, yep. okay? Let's not come to the bus pissed off because we've missed it. We have to be sharp, boys. We have to ride together all day, protect our bubble. If, if it's across the road all day and like it's just shut, get the side together and just, you just sit behind Ineos. Ineos will also just take a side and just ride all day. Just get that side, get in the ball behind them, and then you can react quick as a group. Yeah. Okay? Cool. How long to sign on? I think 20 minutes? 20 minutes to sign on. Okay? Good luck, boys. that I couldn't close this uh, in time but uh, I was hanging in the line and, and they were like still pulling and then they stopped and I, I went straight away but uh, I, I could not like I was keeping the pace high but I could not come to the to the guys yeah, it was a sprint day, as we kind of expected. The crosswind never materialised, so in the bunch it was, uh, yeah, it was a hard day. The pace was high all day, um, but did, guys did a really good job. We controlled the breakaway all day. Uh, second breakaway went later, and again we had it under control. Coming into the sprint, we saw some really good teamwork, really searching for each other through the technical sections. Um, third in the sprint, I think, kind of a really good effort, and um, we've made some nice steps there with the sprint guys and uh, over the course of the race and to finish third. Um, is really good and all eyes now on the Sean Delize for one last chance. Hey, 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 hey. First off with today, I would like to say, um, obviously we come, it's quite relaxed, watch the caravan go through, uh, some free Haribo. Um, the first part of the race, like we already discussed in the meeting last night, we're, we'll also be quite relaxed. What I think, what I really want from everyone today, the guys that are experienced on the Champs Elysees, I know we'll do it. But from everybody else, that moment when we hit the Champs Elysees, we are fully switched on. 
and we are ready to race. Even from 10Ks before on the running, we should already be picking our position, getting organized on that running. So I will also help with that from the car. John, you get the feeling in the peloton. I, I want you to really bring that in the radio also. And when John brings that in the radio today, then we're fucking on, okay? Philipson is there, Philipson is there. Here goes Dylan Gronewagen, he's hit the front very, very early. Philipson dives, UN is bumping almost. We aim for a good Giro, I think. We've been hit by bad luck, but it was uh, otherwise I think the shape was really good and we would have been there for really top results. It was a bit different in this Giro because it was not my uh, target of the year, so... Um, we went on a different approach, taking the three day by day, and uh, yeah, I was pretty consistent over the first two weeks. But yeah, uh, we also knew it maybe it was a bit harder to maintain a, a super high level because we don't have the, the perfect build up. But still, it's not uh, it's not too bad. Uh, it's not super good. I think it's really my sixth time in the top ten in the Tour. So no, I'm, I'm really. We keep fighting every day, that's what we really, uh, keep in mind. We really fight for each other every day, uh, for the sprints, for the, for the breakaway. When I really some bad moments, I could really rely on the team to keep me really focused in the race. And, and yeah, in the end, for some guys, it's, uh, it's almost a career achievement to top 10 in the Tour, so it's really my sixth time. And I think due to the circumstance, yeah, we can be happy with that.